of silence is over one Hi, I'm Sarah, and Ms. Crocker stole my intro. I was going to come out and was going to say hi. Um, I'm Sarah McLean, and I'm auditioning for, oh, wait, never mind. But Ms. Crocker ruined it. Thank you. Uh, no, really. Hi, I'm Sarah. And um, I was going to do something pretty awful, like Matt Lasseter awful. Um, <laughs> I was going to say something like, okay, I'm performing for sick children, you guys. And then She's I was not leukemia come out joke, I'm not sure. Hey guys, still breathing? Good. <laughs> and then I, I know it's awful, that's why I didn't do it. Um, I also was not going to say something like, you know, when you're running and playing outside? Oh, oops. <laughs> I know that would be so awful. No, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, just, I'm really tired. Like, it's probably because I don't sleep at night, but that's what happens. Um, but I do try to alleviate it with, like, naps during the day. I tried to do it this morning, um, but it was really hard because all the drivers kept honking at me, and they didn't like it. Um, the other driver. And, uh, yeah, actually, I'm really accident-prone. I'm a terrible driver. Uh, I can't park for anything. And who here has had a near-death experience in my car? Far too many hands are going to <laughs> But it's true, and it's because I get distracted really easily. But I think this happens to other people. Okay, you're driving down the road, and you're on the freeway, and you see, like, a van with the ultimate kid shutting up device, the television. And you're driving, and you're like, huh, they have a television. Their kids must be quiet. What are they watching? What, we, what is a cartoon? What is that? Is it Bug Bunny? Oh God! No. Um, no, it's gotta be. Um, um, no, it's focus on the road. I was. Oh, it's Squ oh, it's SpongeBob. Of course. Okay. Okay, that's bad. Um, no. And then I, no, really. One time I saw like. Um, they were showing this video, like that scene in Little Miss Sunshine, where Steve Carell has like the bandages on his wrists because he's just like trying to commit suicide. And I was like, now who would show that to their children? And then I realized they must be emo kids. <laughs> no, okay, okay but that's actually a, a really great segue. Because my next joke's about emo kids. Ah! No, they really they worry me. Like the little freaks with their tight pants and guy liner, like it's freaky. And. Um, no, they worry me because they're going to grow up someday and they're going to produce spawn. And they're going to raise the spawn. And it freaks me out because, I, can you imagine those children? Yeah, I guess my dad's okay, you know. They're cool, except none of my pants fix. My dad keeps stretching them out. Like, awful. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I'm glad you liked that one. That was my favorite. <laughs> no, but everybody loves a gay kid. Like, there's this kid. Uh, he, he's in drama. He's not in this class. He's not a senior, but he does share a name with a uh, cheetah, who's a spokesperson for a certain chip brand, who likes cheese oh. chips. <laughs> Thank you, sir, in the back. I'm not going to mention his name, but you'll figure it out soon. Anyway, I, uh, I told him that he might be gay. Jerk threw his purse at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs>